Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I got a top 5 video for you guys, and this top 5 video is top 5 things that Rockstar should and shouldn't add to the bottom dollars DLC. It is actually coming out in a few days on June 25th. These are a series of videos that I do right before an update comes out, in which I talk about things that I think Rockstar should add in the DLC and things that they should avoid. And if you guys enjoy this video and you agree with what I'm saying, Take the link from this video, copy it, put it on Rockstar's feedback page, send it to them. Maybe they'll listen, maybe they won't. We never know. They don't tend to listen to a lot of fans, I know that, but it never hurts to try. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Top 5 things the bottom dollar DLC should and shouldn't do. Starting off at number 5, we have add all the police outfits into this game and new ones as well. So there are two police outfits that I know that are actually in the game, and we don't have either of them. One of them is the one that you actually wear in the prison break heist, and the second one is a SWAT outfit that you actually wear during the casino heist. And these outfits, like I said, you can only wear them in missions. You cannot wear them in GTA Online itself in free mode. And I know people are going to tell me, people are going to tell me in the comments, but professional, there are glitches where you can get these outfits. Sure, I understand that. I know there's glitches where you can get the cop outfits, but we shouldn't have to do glitches. These outfits, including new ones, I want to see new police outfits, should be available for you to buy right from the store. I know there are a few law enforcement outfits that you can already buy. You can buy the corrections officer outfit. You also can buy the FIB suits, but these outfits should be in the store. A lot of people have been asking for these police outfits for a long time, so add them in the game. We want police outfits. Next at number four, we have let us use the custom police vehicles in the new Vincent missions. So it appears in this update that we will be getting new Vincent free mode missions alongside the mod missions. I don't think that they are the same. So I think we got the mod missions and we got these new Vincent missions. And um, these missions are most likely going to be something like the old style vigilante missions that we had in the old GTA games. It's probably going to be where you go to Vin Vincent's police station, you get into a cop car, and you press L3, just like in the taxi, and you start up these missions, but instead of driving people to each destination, you're going to go into a different area each time, killing a bunch of criminals, and so forth, just going over and over, and probably the levels are probably going to increase with that. Now, my biggest fear with this is that we are not going to be able to use custom vehicles, that we are going to be having to use some generic cop car that is at the police station every single time. And we actually might have seen a glimpse of these missions already, because... In the trailer for the Cluck and Bell farm raid, we can actually see there's a scene with Jimmy doing some kind of drug deal and cops are pulling up on him. We never saw this scene in the Cluck and Bell farm raid DLC. So I think this is probably from that and this has been in the game all along. Now, the Gauntlet police cruiser is one of the best vehicles in the game. And so the fact that they added this, this vehicle into the game not too long ago and we might not be able to use it in these missions, I think that'll be a major letdown. And using this vehicle in a lot of different missions is already pretty enjoyable. So if they add these new cop missions and you have to use a cop car, please let us use custom vehicles like the Gauntlet for those missions. Moving on to number three, we have get rid of the bad cell missions like the post-op van. If we have to only get rid of one mission in the game, just please get rid of the post-op mission. I normally don't like content being taken out of any kind of game, but I would not be at all disappointed if the post-op missions were taken out of the game. The reason for that is because these post-op missions are not fun, and these missions take up way too much time, and you're forced to do them. If you're selling your business, there's a chance you could get this specific mission. Now, Rockstar actually said in the Newswire post before this, this latest um, trailer with this update, they said that we are going to be increasing the timer on a lot of these cell missions in order to help out solo players. Now, an increased timer is always a good thing, but the vast majority of these missions, you can do them in the timer, no problem. The one mission that I know is really annoying with the timer is that Dune FAV mission, you know, where you get four Dune FAVs. If you're selling a full bunker and you have to do it in 15 minutes, if you're doing that solo or even if you're doing it with three people, it can be just a nightmare. Solo, it's almost, it's impossible. But three people, even three people alone, it's extremely difficult. But here's the question. And here's, here's a thought for you. Why are you rem increasing the time when you just remove the bad missions like the post-op mission? And if you're going to remove a gun running mission, get rid of that mission where you're driving three insurgent pickup customs because that's not solo friendly at all. And then you have to constantly drop off a crate, get the other one, go back and forth and fight Meriwether, and for the post-op, you guys are seeing me here, I'm doing this mission solo. Do it, we can do an invite-only session now, so you don't have to worry about people blowing up your stuff, but I did this for half an hour. 
selling a weed business. And I was trying my best. I was rushing through this, trying to get as much done as I could. And I could only get two vans done. When I had the third van and I was driving to the city, the timer pretty much ended. I was barely in the city when the timer ended. So I lost a third of the product. And if I had an extra 10 minutes, sure, I could have completed this mission. But now ask yourself this question. Who the hell wants to drive a post-op van for 40 minutes? And just getting out of the van each time, dropping off the package, getting back in, driving that slow van. If you crash, you got to wait a few minutes to regain your speed because of how slow this thing is. So only a crazy per person is going to truly enjoy doing missions like this. So that's basically what I would say is take these mis this mission out of the game. Take out that insurgent mission also, the one with Meriwether out of the bu bunker. You take out those two missions, post-op and that Meriwether insurgent mission. And I guarantee you, a lot of people are actually going to be happy. They are not going to be disappointed. So increasing the timer on this, yes, I guess it, it, it is something, but it will be much more effective to just remove these bad missions from the game entirely because people just don't want to do them. At number two, we have add a story with substance to it. Now, what I mean by this is when we're going to be going after these targets, you know, these bail enforcement missions, I hope these aren't just generic NPCs. We just go to an area, chase them down, stun them, and just bring them out. I hope there's some unique dialogue. There's a reason behind why we're going after these people. It explains what their crime is, similar to what we had in the single player. And I hope that Mod actually plays a decent role in this. I know they are bringing in her daughter as a character, but I hope that she plays a decent role in this. It's 10 years later, we've seen her, and she has not aged at all. I don't know why Rockstar hasn't, you know, aged that character at all. But regardless, I want to see more of Mod. Hope that we see her a bit, and I hope they don't do the same mistake that Chop Shop DLC did. The biggest mistake with the Chop Shop DLC was the fact that Yusuf Amir barely played a role in it. Yes, we did see him in, like, two cutscenes at most, uh, but that's it. You know, I know he sometimes calls you and deliver a car, and Jamal is a pretty cool guy, don't get me wrong, his cousin, but we wanted to see mainly Yusuf Amir in that DLC. That's what a lot of people wanted to see, and we barely saw him. And hopefully when we, Mod will appear in this DLC a bunch, hopefully he's not just one cutscene, and that's it, we never see her again. So please, make a decent story that has substance to it, and don't make it short either. And number one, the number one thing this DLC should not do is don't have one business location across from the police station. Now, I know some people are probably going to be surprised by this. They probably thought that it was going to be something about customization or story that was going to be number one. But I actually think this could actually be a massive problem. Now, right across from the police station, the Mission Row police station is actually where the bottom dollar bail enforcement lo business location is. And you have this old business here, which is going to be replaced, and it's the lock depository. So you can see, this is the exact same location that is going to be replaced. Now, it's right across the street, like I said, from the police station. The reason this can be a problem is because think about all the things that can go wrong. Think about if there's only one business location. All the players are going to be out here. People are going to get into gunfights. They're going to start shooting each other. There's going to be cops right across the street. It's going to be making it annoying to access the DLC. Yes, I know that you can play in invite-only sessions, but a lot of people are going to be public sessions, and the fact that it's going to be across from a police station, it's going to be really annoying. But I think what's going to be the most annoying is when you are when you are finishing up a mission, when you are driving back, maybe you're returning with a character, maybe um, you're driving a stolen car, the police see you, pull up near the, um, near the business, and you get a wanted level. I mean, just take a look at this, for example. When you drive a stolen car and you drive near the police, the police will actually recognize you, and you get a wanted level. So see, I just pulled up to this to where this business is going to be, and I get a one-star one level just from that. I did not steal this car in view of the police. It was just stolen earlier, and now I'm driving away. I get a two-star wanted level, and I got to escape. So that's what I say is the business location could be a problem being right across the street from a police station because you could constantly get cops after you. Now, remember, the Chop Shop DLC almost did this exact same thing. The Junkyard DLC, which was advertised in the trailer, most people got that because what they saw in the trailer, and it was also the most expensive one, and people thought it was going to be the best one. But it actually turned out to be the worst location because it's the fact that vehicles would spawn behind the Junkyard, behind the wall in the Junkyard, you, you would have to drive through the Junkyard every single time. It got annoying. Thankfully, you were able to buy different locations, and that actually fixed the problem right then and there. But that's what I'll say about this, is have multiple business locations. Don't have it just right across the street from the police station, because I think that that could actually get annoying. And I think the amount of times you get the police could actually make it really frustrating. Constantly having to call Lester and running away. And that is that for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope this DLC turns out to be good. If I missed anything, let me know down below. What do you want to see and what don't you want to see in this DLC? I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, guys.